Trondheim, Norway, August 9. Donny Carvajal of Real Madrid celebrates scoring his team's third goal with Marcelo during the UEFA Super Cup match between Real Madrid and Sevilla at Lerkendal Stadion on August 9, 2016, in Trondheim, Norway. Photo by Jan Kruger, UEFA, UEFA via Getty Images, Live at Pool's main prowess is down the flanks. With the mercurial form of Mo Salah as well as his sidekick Sado Main's blistering pace, they cannot be left with any space, which is something Marcelo, as well as Donny Carvajal, tend to do. It is known that both the Brazilian and the Spaniard like to attack up the field and they are both extremely effective in doing so. However, they can also be caught trying to return from attacks which will, in tune, leave both Rafael Varane and Sergio Ramos stretched. Against Liverpool, this must be prevented. While Zidane has shown his preference for the diamond formation, it would be the wrong choice to start in this match. Madrid must operate with two wide players from the first whistle in Kiev to support Marcelo and Carvajal. The best option for this is most likely a 4-1-4-1 or a 4-3-3. The extra man in the wide position would mean that there is always somebody to track back, perhaps starting Marco Asensio, Lucas Vazquez, or Gareth Bale in the wide position with Cristiano Ronaldo up top would be the best option. While this means Isco would likely have to sit deeper than usual, it would be the best option for controlling the flow of the game and also nullifying the wide threat posed by the Merseyside outfit. Page 2 ESTADIO Wanda Metropolitano, Madrid, Spain The 18th of November 2017, Modric L and Tony Cruz R during Atletico de Madrid and Real Madrid match. No match, 0-0, between Atletico de Madrid and Real Madrid. Photo by Jorge Gonzalez, Pacific Press, Light Rocket via Getty Images, the midfield battle is perhaps the most key aspect of the final. Successful control of the midfield will make or break the game for Los Blancos and one thing that is abundantly clear is that anything less than a three-man midfield will end in disaster. More from the real champs Liverpool's midfield is not the most technically sound, however, it is effective. With Henderson sitting deep at the base of the midfield, he is supported by the everlasting efforts of Wijnaldum and Milner. The main target of that midfield should be Jordan Henderson. Should the Madrid midfield manage to shut down the man from Sunderland, they will then minimize just how much effect Wijnaldum and, more importantly, the record-breaking assist maker, James Milner, have on the game. Henderson has improved greatly this season in picking his passes and timing his tackles to break up the opposing team's rhythm. Against Manchester City at Anfield, he completed two tackles, one block, and three interceptions. He boasted very similar numbers against Roma in both legs of the UCL semi-final. This is complemented by James Milner also completing around 2.5 tackles and 1.1 interceptions per game in the UCL. While these numbers may not be massively high, the continual work ethic and warhorse-like attitude is the biggest threat posed. Why is this an issue for Real Madrid? The midfield has shown tendencies to switch off in games. It has been seen numerous times this season. Alongside the midfield continually being aware, positioning must be disciplined. This mainly falls on Casemiro who can often be caught out of the field in failing to track back. The Brazilian has some incredible defensive capability and he needs to keep that consistent over 90 minutes as he has one key battle that, in this game,
Page 321st May 2018, Anfield, Liverpool, England, Liverpool Open Media Day ahead of Champions League final, Roberto Firmino and Mohamed Salah of Liverpool during today's open training session at Anfield ahead of this week's Champions League final in Kiev against Real Madrid. Photo by Alan Martin, Action Plus via Getty Images. Although Liverpool does indeed have a very dangerous trio, it is these two individuals that pose the biggest threat. Sato Main is indeed a problem, however, his hit and miss form this season has meant that teams will likely focus more on the threat of Mohamed Salah and Roberto Firmino. Firmino is perhaps the most underrated weapon in Jurgen Klopp's armory, the Brazilian has been sensational this season and while Salah has gotten the majority of the plaudits, Firmino perhaps deserves it just as much as the Egyptian. Firmino has proven to be somewhat of a Swiss army knife in this Liverpool side. He has averaged 1.8 tackles per game as well as 1.5 dribbles. The Brazilian has also scored 10 goals and added 7 assists in the competition, so far on his 3.3 shots per game. Striker is the main link up between attack and midfield, often seen dropping into space and carrying the ball forward. He also has regularly won the ball back from his team. Firmino must be contained between Casemiro, Ramos, and Varane. If given too much freedom, the Brazilian will be the orchestrator of destruction for Real Madrid. He is the main chance creator in the team and also has the second most assists in the team, only behind the nine of James Milner. Mo Salah World has been singing about the Egyptian sensation all season and with very good reason. Salah is a fantastic dribbler with eye-watering pace and has seen this season a clinical finish. With 46 goals and 54 club and country appearances, he is the biggest threat in this side. Salah is completing 2.2 dribbles per game, taking 3.4 shots per game, and making 2.3 key passes per game. With 10 goals and 3 assists under his belt in the competition this year, Salah could be the biggest headache for Zidane's side to contend with. However, the team has faced the Egyptian previously in the run-up to the final in Milan a couple years ago. Yes, Salah has clearly improved since, but Ramos has shown the capability to stop the Egyptian. It will be an interesting battle to watch. Page 4 Use your arrows to browse Castelloni, Spain, May 19, LR, Sanson of Villarreal, Luka Modric of Real Madrid during the La Liga Santander match between Villarreal v Real. Madrid at the Estadio de la Ceramica on May 19, 2018 in Case de Lons, Spain. Photo by Jeroen Musen, Socrates, Getty Images. Real Madrid has shown on countless occasions this season that they can play some genuinely great passing football. It was seen in the equalizing goal against Bayern Munich in the semi-finals. If Pep's MCFC or Barca had scored this you'd never hear the end of Tiki Taka Porn, Cruyffismo, Total Football, The Beautiful Game, but no, it was only Madrid against the German champion so let's move on. Pick.twitter.com slash one swap shoe, MAJ, at Ultra. Seristic, May 3, 2018 Liverpool has shown weakness when starved of the ball and forced to sit and defend deep. It was seen in the first leg against Roma, despite being up on the scoreboard, they decided to sit deep and absorb pressure which didn't work, leading to two conceded goals. It was seen in the return leg as well as they were unable to contend with Roma's pressure when they decided to sit back. This led to errors in the way of leaving gaps and not tracking opponents. Real should also consider attacking Liverpool on their flanks. We've seen Liverpool struggle with their defending of crosses and set plays, something Madrid is very good at. With both of the fullbacks in this Liverpool team being young and inexperienced, they should be the main aim of all Madrid attacks. Players like Trent Alexander Arnold have shown good form, but he has yet to face the pressure of a final. 
that is a trend across this Liverpool side, they may be hungry for success, however, Madrid has the big game experience. Just when you think they've met their match, they turn up and blitz a very good team. We have seen it all through this season. We saw it last season against Juventus. The system is just as key as the mentality in this game, if Madrid can ride out the storm and control the flow of the ball, they will win this game. Use your arrows to browse.